Hey guys, GTIZ Lot back for episode four of the Dawn of Galaxy series that I'm running. Um, so as you can see, I dug out my base. Woo! Can't get in behind some of this other stuff, but I, I don't care. I can leave some dirt in the nooks and crannies. Um, so it's it's a decent size. It's basically just a uh, uh, an underground parking garage, really. Um, you can see I actually have a ventilator and O2 tank in here, but I actually do not have an O2 generator. All I have is this emergency O2 generator. So that's not going to cut the mustard. I can't use those little bottles to put, to fill up this O2 container. At least I don't think so. No. Will it just... How about if I do it from the control panel and go to main and fill all? No. Ooh, I got 50 minutes left on the fuel that I had on me. I did create some more here. And I've got enough to create a bunch more, so I'm going to make a bunch more. That should produce 40 more stacks. And from there, go into the control panel again. I'm going to select fill all. Okay, so that gives us three hours now. Okay, good. Um, also, I think what I'm going to do is build myself a... Oh, let's put all this in there. I got 19. I'm going to need more concrete. So the nice thing about the large constructor is you don't actually have to queue up the individual items that are required to build it. You just have to queue up the end item itself and it will automatically um, do all the other little bits that need to, to create that. So I'm going to queue up um, let's do 50 for right now. You can see once this finishes spinning these up, I've still got a bunch. I think I'll see how it, it automatically builds stuff that it needs. I'm going to put that in my base also. So, all, so we're up to almost 12 hours. Okay, good. Good. Oh, also what I need to do is I'm going to spec a multi-tool. So let's go into tools. Oh, I've already got it spec'd. Okay, good. I don't have a T2. It's not available yet. Level 12. Okay. Um... really need any of that stuff right now. Uh, sentry gun, sure. T2 fridge, okay. Minigun turret, okay. Oh, uh, uh, what I need to do is get all the stuff from Spotlight, nice. Uh, big thruster, yes. Drill module, yes. Docking pads, I will need those. Okay, that gives me Gatling gun, minigun turret. Okay. Okay. And that requires an advanced CPU. That means I'm not going to be able to spawn my HV. I need to get some neodymium. Okay, let's make sure my small vehicle stuff is unlocked. Twenty points left. Capital vessel stuff, sure. Cockpit. Oh. 
Can I do a medic station right now? Yes, let's do that. Uh, plant grow light, can't do those yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I can actually make myself a multi-tool. I'm going to grab all these concrete blocks. I'm going to go into the weapons and items, and now I've unlocked a bunch more stuff. You can see it there. Multi-tool. Let's crank one of those up. And I'm going to need to crank up some multi-tool charges. Each template makes three, so that should give us 15 charges. My O2's getting a little low. Let's swallow some. Okay, let's put this here. Just need those in our inventory. Need some seaweed. Okay. See, now that I got a large constructor, I can make a whole bunch more stuff that the survival constructor can't. Like that multi tool. Okay. What this multi tool is going to do, it's going to allow us to get rid of my derpy blocks that I had to make to rescue myself. So let's start by. I want to keep these blocks so you can see it says disassemble returns them that intact blocks for own structures, has a chance of returning intact blocks on public structures. So this is a my own private structure should it so it should actually just disassemble the whole thing um, we could deconstruct and that would actually break it down into it's like concrete um, bags of concrete we could upgrade it I think it has an upgrade path to steel blocks uh, and you have to have all the the gear in your inventory so the um, you need all the stuff to upgrade it in your inventory. Repair and change and rotate. So what we're going to do is we're going to do disassemble. We're going to walk over to this stair here. Or recharge my multi-tool. And take these blocks out. Okay, now we'll take these ones out. Uh, normally I'd start at the top. Well, that's, is it resting? I don't think it is. Oh, it is, okay, okay, okay. So, get rid of these. See some dirt still floating in the air that I didn't get to. Okay, okay. Okay. All that has been multi-tooled. Let's finish drilling this out a bit though. Oh. I should use the drone. Any menial labor tasks, use your drone. It consumes less oxygen and less food. And it has a much better light on it, too. I mean, there are lights in the base that help quite a bit now. But... Okay. Clear this out. Temperature. Just want to get my radar back up there. Temperature is really fluctuating. 15 degrees we can handle. I might have to put a hangar door on her sooner than later though to 
control the temperature. The only problem with hangar doors are super expensive to craft, like ridiculous. Um, although realistically, I probably should. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm did I? Hopefully, I spec'd it. So we can get to everything from the control panel, large constructor, going to here and there. I did. I did spec it. Okay, so it's going to be metal components 50? Oh my god, I knew it was expensive. This might bankrupt me. Okay, we'll let that spin up. And we'll keep drilling. Now this is a little tedious. This is the um, more boring part of the game is, is dirt removal. Uh, but it's a necessary evil. If we want to get out of here, we're going to have to remove the dirt. holes that I dug. Yeah, I can't get down into those holes. Good. At least if I fall, I'm not going to fall too far now. <sighs> if you saw my previous video, you'd see what I'm talking about. Uh, I um, I kind of screwed myself. Fell down one of my deep holes that I was looking for. I spawned my base and it spawned in the middle of the mountain. And uh, so I was digging around looking for it and fell down the hole that I was digging looking for it. And yeah, almost died. But we, we won't talk about that anymore. Let's clear this out. Okay, so I think what I need to do, I gotta keep all these because I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need a bunch of concrete. Okay, so I think, I think I actually need to start building this up. So. Let's put some more blocks across. Come on. Right to there. And then... So I think I need to start sloping this up. So let's put some, I think I'll do shallow slope, a shallow slope. So let's put those up and then, and then, um, I need to put some blocks here for structural integrity, I think. So this game actually takes into account structural integrity. And I can show you by going into hitting N, holding down N. And I'll click on the show structural integrity. Bright green means it's got awesome structural integrity. Um, you can see the black, the reason it's black is it, it doesn't show a structural integrity for dirt. There's actually walls in behind there, it just, there's dirt too. Um, 
and you can see some of the some of the blocks are getting different darker shade as it gets darker it turns more red and red and once it gets really red there's a chance of it collapsing so you just got to keep that in mind and turn that off it's just okay so let's do hmm let's take this out more I'll take this out more The reason why I did this out right away is because I need access to this base with a vehicle. Um, specifically, what I'm going to have to do is, because I don't have an Aneo, um, I'm either going to have to go hunt down golems. If they even exist on this planet, if it's like Omicron, it'll have golems that can potentially have Neodymion on them as loot. Or I'll have to fly my SV, I'll have to spawn an SV, fly it up into space, and see if there's a moon or something that I can get, or, or asteroids. Because truthfully, if there, if I, if I can't get Neodymium or Satharium, um, then I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. So, hopefully... Hopefully there's those resources in this playfield or in the and the surrounding playfields. Okay. Come on, stone. Everybody must get stone. Ugh, the way it's driving my drone, I think is stone. Really? Come on, hit F. Okay, keep drilling. Go up. Up and out. Okay, let's put some more concrete blocks down. Now you see, I need to make sure that it's just a cube here. I'll just extend this over. Good. Okay, so now we can start ramping up. Um, I think I want to put a cube there. So I want to start, did I? No, no, no. Okay, that was stupid. Anyway, I'll just extend this out. Okay. Let's zap that, I need that back. That's just not gonna get used where it is. Okay, and I can probably get rid of this one too then. Okay. Okay, so let's continue with the ramp here. Um, now I should be able to do the half ramp. Yes. Boom. And keep drilling. And because my ramp's going up, I'm gonna have, if I 
make a ceiling here. I don't think I will. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to dig it out. I think my sealed section will be, I'm going to put the hangar door right across there. And let's dig this out. No, okay. Now I'm leery of picking up my oxygen generator right now because, um, God, again, I can't see my drone. Oh, wow. I got. Oh man, I gotta go up really far. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. down. Don't want to go too deep because I'm trying to go up, not down. So let's put our next layer of blocks down. So I'm probably going to have to do a regular blocks first. All right, yes it is, okay. Boom. And then I'll be able to put the, the ramp bottom ones down. Okay, so we're getting there. Keep drilling. Eventually I'll have a TT drill and I'll be able to remove terrain and it's way faster. Way faster. Reload. Might as well pick these up because I'm probably going to need more concrete blocks I'm already getting low okay so hard to see on my drone pick these I mean not a big deal if your drone dies you just instantly spawn a new one it's like your your armor has a factory built into it that, that for some reason the drones take no fuel or materials to spawn ones are going to be the so we've got the half ramp we're going to need to do the top ones again right right am i right i think i'm right yes that looks right that looks correct okay so let's get this 
to there. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. Keep digging. out a little bit more. I'll have to check the structural integrity of my ramp so I don't want to collapse. Them. Let's take a look. Show structural integrity. Okay, well not too bad. It's still green. Obviously there's sections of it that are missing blocks underneath it. That's why, and, and a lot of dirt missing. That I'm a little concerned about. Nah, it's still green. It's still green. You know what? Not a big deal. I'm not going to be putting any weight on top of this structure. So, as long as the ramp will support the weight of my vehicles, that's all I care about. structural integrity mode for a bit here just to, just to make sure when I'm placing blocks that they're not compromising the integrity or when I'm digging I'm not compromising the integrity okay pick up all these rocks I'm gonna need them I'm going to need him to get out of this hell hole that I dug myself into. Okay. Hmm. Let's, um... Getting into my uh, area where I've already excavated. So that's good, that's good. I put those. I had a bunch of spare ones. Yeah, when I came. Grab some of those. And in the meantime, my little um, emergency one has been making these small bottles, so. So, oxygen and food wise, I should be fine because I got a ton of seaweed. As long as I don't get myself stuck down in a hole again. The one thing I'm a little bit worried out is worried about is promethium at this point. Uh, oh, 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 what's going on? I am too cold. Oh crap. Oh crap. Um how am I gonna warm up? How am I gonna warm up? Let's um let's how am I gonna warm up? I get into where the generator is? No. Come on. Shit. Shit. I gotta pick these up. I gotta pick them up. 
I gotta pick him up. I'm gonna die really quick here. Um, I gotta, I've, I've gotta put this, I gotta put this down. I have to put it down or else I'm gonna die. Uh, you can see my body temperature is at 14, okay. If I, if I seal this in, it should stabilize the temperature. And yes, there we go. Holy crap. <sighs> So apparently I'm still in the survival portion of the game. Wow. Okay, I have a sealed room. Huge. You can see now it's at a constant 22 degrees. I'm going to get rid of the uh, structural integrity here. Just Okay. Well, thank God I had the mats to build that or else uh, I would have had to try and get back out into the lake. Or potentially die of exposure. Because, you know, exposing yourself too much you can die from. Okay. Um, you know what? I need that oxygen generator down there because I don't have one built yet. So I'm, I left this little slab of dirt here. I should be able to... Put it back, okay. And then, got no energy. <sighs> One. That's all it, but I thought I made a whole crap ton. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a whole crap ton more. For now, I'll grab that. hours on the emergency O2. Let's uh, uh let's put these back in the crate. Don't need all of them. Okay, more concrete blocks. The crushed stone to go into the constructor. So let's get let's get two hundred queued up. Okay. Okay. So now technically I should be able to go like this over the door. Stand here. Use my drone. That blue force field is exactly that. It's a force field, that type of door. Um, when the base is powered up, creates a force field to block out radiation and atmosphere. So it actually seals in the room even if the door's closed, or door's open, I should say. Okay. So, how are we doing? We've got our hole right there, so we're kind of, we're aiming right for it. That's good. That's good. We need to keep digging. Let's keep digging. I gotta get back to the water and build a proper oxygen generator. Oh! Did I even spec that? Let's see. Did I spec oxygen generator? Yes. Okay, I think I need to make one then. So because I'm standing, you can see my guy is standing on the base. If I hit P, even though I'm in my drone, I still access all the stuff in my base. Um. Let's go into the large constructor and we're going to queue up a oxygen generator. Okay. These blocks here. But once that finish, 
finishes building the uh, concrete blocks and build an oxygen, real oxygen generator that'll make real oxygen bottles that we can utilize for everything. Okay. So, we got to continue with our base. Continue with the ramp. So, I've got one, two, three, four. So, now I've got to place another line of regular blocks right there and then I can do a the bottom part of the ramp that needs to be spun around starting there and across like that uh, pick up these rocks. You can pick up materials from a distance for some reason that you've dug out. I, I don't know why. Nothing else has that sort of range to it. You can, you have to be right close to it to pick it up. Anyway. Dig, dig, dig. And you can see... Now that I have a sealed base, my temperature in the base is 22 degrees. And I don't actually have oxygen yet. You can see the O2 symbol down beside my helmet on the left is not lit up. That means that the environment that I'm in has no oxygen. And when the environment has no oxygen, it will use the oxygen in your suit. See that O2 symbol? And it's lit up. It means that your suit oxygen is not being used. It's consuming the, the oxygen in whatever area you're standing in. So it could be in a pressurized room or a spaceship, pressurized spaceship. Or there are some temperate planets that you can actually breathe the oxygen the atmosphere. So keep that in mind in um, in Alpha 5, you have to s take off your helmet to stop yourself from using the oxygen in your suit. You no longer have to do that. As soon as you see that oxygen symbol, that means that it is no longer consuming the oxygen in your suit, and it's consuming the oxygen in the environment. Be that a pressurized room or literally outdoors on certain planets. Okay. Okay, so I think we need the next set of blocks. Um, and this is, I gotta put them lower. So they go down here. And I gotta change the block style. So I don't want that, I want them there. That's what I want going down. Right there, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, and now we put the ramp tops in. And we'll do that right across to here. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, we're almost, we're almost at the level that I, oh, what happened there? It didn't. Uh, we're almost at the entry level. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's keep digging. And out of fuel. Recharge. You also see on my toolbar... Uh, my drill in slot three, the green indicator on the side is how much durability is left on it. So pretty much most things that you can equip, be it armor, weapons, tools, have a durability. And as you use them, the durability runs out. Um, it will eventually get to the point where it won't, it's not usable anymore and you have to repair it. 
And I do have a repair station already in the base. Uh, that was part of the blueprint, so if my dry drill fries, I can repair it. Now, when you repair something, it does not repair it up to the maximum durability. So every time you repair it, it gets slightly less overall durability. And eventually, you just, you'll just have to make a new one. So stuff like that will eventually just permanently wear out. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And realistically, I mean, most uh, most games have durability of some sort or another on weapons and armor anyway, so it's not a new concept at all. Okay, so now... We lay flat blocks across. And then, oh, we're getting really close. We can actually see out. Getting really close now. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's um, put the bottom, the ramp bottoms across. That looks like they're in the right orientation, yes. Okay. And oh wow, we're pretty close, pretty close to sea level now. Rocks. Who knows if I'm going to need more concrete, but waste not, want not. Ultimately, my goal is to get an SV out of this, out of this hole in the ground. And I guess out in the orbit so that I can get some meal right away, I'm thinking of Or shoot a golem or two? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get there. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that that HV thruster required It's not really much of a starter HV if you need advanced CPU. Okay. So what? Was that the ramp bottom? I think it was. Okay, so now we can put more. Yeah, okay. So... Put standard blocks down. Come on. Get in there. No, get down. I don't want to get into that little corner there. Is it not going to go? Come on. Yes. Right there. And cross to... What's going on? Come on. This way. There we go. And now I should be able to put my ramp tops on. Put that right across. Okay, good, good, good. And okay, so we are We are actually pretty level at this point. So I think now, I think now I'm gonna go straight out with the blocks.
right? Yeah. Yeah, they're a little higher. So how much higher are they? Looks like a whole block height. So do I need to knock those? Did, did I go up too high? Did I go up too high? Let's see. Let's just run a block right out. Well, not really. If you look, it's actually, if I went one block lower, it wouldn't be high enough. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna extend this right out to the water. And then I'll, I'll just do a ramp, I guess I'll ramp down. Right? So what kind of ramp do I do? I do the ramp top, spin that around, and then, I mean, that's probably good enough, but I could also do that. There, now it's actually in the water. Okay. Okay, bit of a fiasco being so low down in there. Um, okay. Wow, that's a decent sized ramp. Well, let's... Um, Let's stop the episode here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do here off camera, I'm gonna finish digging this out and I'm gonna finish off the ramp um, and I'm gonna make it accessible. I'm gonna basically, the hole has to be at least as big as the um, hangar door. So a five by three. So I'm gonna punch a, a five by three hole straight out here now and finish off the ramp and then the base will pretty much be done um, i can actually add more stuff to it later but it'll be functional at that point um, and i'm also going to place the oxygen generator that it's that it's creating out into the water to create some real o2 bottles for us so I would say this is a good start. I have not died yet, so let's check my stats. I am at level 10. I've got four kills, zero deaths. So there we go. Zero deaths, that's a big thing right now because if I can finish this scenario without dying 100 times, I will consider that a success. Okay, guys. If you like this episode, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.